A Christmas Ghost. It's nearly Christmas. Where's the snow? Asked Alex. <laughs> Alex laughed. Dan, we're in Australia. They don't have snow here at Christmas. Dan and Alex were from London. They worked in a big office, but at Christmas. The office was closed for two weeks. This year, they wanted to do something different for Christmas, so they were here in Australia. When they arrived, they got a car at the airport and drove for miles across the country. Towards Alice Springs. In the evenings, they stopped at small hotels. There were no cars on the roads, and they saw no houses or people in the country. It was very hot. This is going to be a strange Christmas for us," said Alex. No snow, no Christmas tree. Oh, be quiet, Alex. We're going to have a wonderful time. It's going to be different. That's all," said Dan. It was their third day. They left their hotel early that morning. But the sun was soon hot. Suddenly, Dan called out, "Look, Alex, a kangaroo!" The strange animal jumped across the road and disappeared. Then, everything was quiet again. They drove for two hours. Then they stopped, and ate some sandwiches, and drank some water. Okay, come on, Alex. Let's go," said Dan. "We're nearly there. We're going to be in Alice Springs tonight." But when Dan turned the key. Nothing happened. The car didn't move. What's the matter, Dan? Is the car okay? I don't know. Let's look at the engine. They got out. And looked at the engine. Everything looks okay to me," said Dan. "I don't understand. What are we going to do?" asked Alex. "We're miles from the next town, and there aren't any cars on this road. We need some help." They waited. For nearly four hours, the sun was much hotter now. Alex and Dan sat on the road, next to the car. They were scared. They didn't have much to eat, and they didn't have much water. They needed help. Soon. Dan was asleep. Wake up, Dan! Somebody's coming. 
called Alex. It was true. A car appeared on the road and came towards them. Dan jumped up with Alex. Stop! Stop! They cried. The car stopped, and a young man got out. He was about nineteen years old, tall, and he had long brown hair. Hello, he said. Do you need help with your car? Yes, please. Do you know about engines? The young man looked at the engine. Ah, yes. You need a garage. There's one in the next town. I can take you there. Dan and Alex got into the back of the young man's car. Were you there for a long time? He asked. About four hours. We were very happy to see you. We didn't have much water," said Dan. "Only four hours. I was by the road once, and I waited for help for ten days," said the young man. "For ten days? Is that true?" cried Dan. "What happened?" "Ah, it's a long story, and I need to watch the road." There are lots of kangaroos around here, you know. The young man drove carefully, and Dan and Alex slept in the back. It was about fifty miles to the next town, and when they arrived, it was dark. The young man stopped near the garage, but he didn't get out of the car. Here you are," he said. "Goodbye. Happy Christmas." "Thanks again," said Dan and Alex. "Goodbye." The car soon disappeared. The man in the garage talked to Dan. "It's late now." But I can go with you tomorrow to your car. Tonight, you can stay in the hotel. Dan and Alex went to the small hotel. They asked the woman there for a room. She gave them a key, but she didn't smile. She had a very sad face. They went to their room. The people here aren't very happy," said Alex. "It's nearly Christmas, but nobody's getting ready for it." "Yes, it's strange," said Dan. "But that young man with the car was nice, and the man at the garage is going to help us. Tomorrow we can go to Alice Springs." That night. Dan and Alex woke up three times. Every time, they heard a strange noise. Someone's crying, I think," said Alex. The next day, they got up early and went to the garage. The man drove them to their car, and looked at the engine. He worked on it for about an hour, and soon Dan and Alex were on the road again. Late that night, they arrived in Alice Springs. This time, their hotel was much nicer. Let's go out for something to eat. Said Dan excitedly. Wait a minute," said Alex. "What's that on the TV?" Dan turned 
and looked at the TV. Last night, somebody found the body of John Sharp. It was by the road, 50 miles from Little Creek. John disappeared a year ago. At that time, the police found his car, but they never found his body. John was 19, and he lived in Little Creek. His parents have a hotel there. A picture of the hotel appeared on the TV. Dan, said Alex quietly, that was our hotel in Little Creek. We stayed there last night. Just then, the photograph of a young man appeared on the TV. He had long brown hair. It's him! cried Dan. It's the young man. He helped us. But he's dead. How could he help us? I don't understand. Dan said nothing. Alex looked at him. What are you thinking, Dan? We saw a ghost, said Dan. A nice Christmas ghost. Ghost.